Mueller speaks out for the first time on his last day as special counsel. And here is what Bob Mueller wanted every single American to know. If we had had confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so. The power of the spoken word. That was the bottom line. If Mueller had confidence President Trump did not commit a crime, he'd say so, but he couldn't say so? Hearing Mueller say that was a moment in history, and it makes us wonder what President Trump and his administration heard. Because just listen to them. We consider this very much to be case closed. He said the case is done. And the president tweeting those same words, the operative words of his tweet, the case is closed. Thank you. Case closed? Well, that's not what Mueller said, right? Because Mueller was crystal clear that the ball is now in Congress's court. The Constitution requires a process other than the criminal justice system to formally accuse a sitting president of wrongdoing. And that's it, a process other than the criminal justice system. That was Mueller. That process other than Mueller and charging a sitting president is Congress. And as for why Mueller did not charge Trump with a crime when nearly 1,000 former DOJ prosecutors have said they would have based on what Mueller presented in his report, Mueller today was extremely clear. Under long-standing department policy, a president, president cannot be charged with a federal crime while he is in office. That's clear. He says policy can't do it. In those few words, Mueller directly contradicted what his boss, the Attorney General Bill Barr, testified under oath earlier this month. In your press conference, you said that you asked the special counsel whether he would have made a charging decision or recommended charges on obstruction, but for the Office of Legal Counsel's opinion on charging sitting presidents, and that the special counsel made clear that was not the case. Uh, so, Mr. Barr... Is that an accurate description of your conversation with the special counsel? Yes, he, he reiterated several times in a, in a group meeting that the, he was not saying that but for the OLC opinion, he would have found obstruction. Mueller today was clear, and Barr at best misled in his answer to Grassley under oath. Grassley asked whether Mueller would have made a charging decision if it weren't for the Office of Legal Counsel policy at the DOJ to not charge sitting presidents. Barr said Mueller told him, no, the OLC was not the reason. But today, Mueller proved what Barr said was false. And then there's this claim from Barr. Again, it was under oath. If the special counsel found facts su sufficient to constitute obstruction of justice, would he have stated that finding? If he had found that, then I uh, think he would state it, yes. So Barr says that if Mueller found evidence that Trump committed a crime, he thinks Mueller would have said so. Perhaps he, I think it's not perhaps, it's pretty clear he put that word think in very, very purposefully. Because again, remember, Mueller said he could not charge a sitting president. And today he added to that. He said that if he could not charge Trump, a sitting president, then he would not take the next step of publicly accusing him of a crime. It would be unfair to potentially accuse somebody of a crime when there can be no court resolution of the actual charge. Directly refuting what Barr told Grassley. And as for Mueller's parting shot, he called out the president for his recent remarks. Russian intelligence officers who were part of the Russian military launched a concerted attack on our political system. And that allegation deserves the attention of every American. Of every American. Those were Mueller's last words today. Yet there is at least one American who is still in denial. It's the greatest hoax probably in the history of our country. The witch hunt was a hoax. It was a hoax. It was a witch hunt. 